The woman's name is Lucy, and until a few days ago, she was an ordinary housewife. She's usually so afraid of the heat that she sweats profusely when she makes a lunch. She worked as a cashier in a supermarket. Her boss asked her to work an extra shift to check how much stock was left in the cooler before Lucy could say yes. The boss left her notebook and ran off. Lucy had no choice. She had no choice but to put on her down jacket and go to the cold store. White smoke billowed out of the cold warehouse. While she was counting, the pens were so cold that they couldn't write. Lucy wanted to shake it off and keep writing, but she accidentally threw it out. It landed right in the middle of the goods. When Lucy moved away from the goods to look for it, her co-workers came to the warehouse to check. Before Lucy could react, the lights in the warehouse were turned off. Then the door was locked from the outside. Lucy thought the power was out. He went up and pressed the switch. When the lights came on, he realized it was his colleague who had turned it off. No matter how hard he pulled on the door or slammed it, nothing worked. She called the security office. The guard was outside talking to someone else. Lucy kept banging. The door still didn't work. By this time, the temperature was 17 degrees below zero. The walls are covered in a thick layer of frost. Lucy sits in a corner wrapped in a cardboard box. She took out a lighter. She could only rely on the weak flame of the lighter to keep her warm. But soon the lighter ran out. Lucy was frozen to the ground. The next day, Lucy was found by her co-workers. She woke up in a hospital bed. In front of her bed were her husband and child. When she got up and touched the bedside rail, Lucy felt very cold. But she didn't care. She took the kids to the park to play soccer. She asked her husband to buy a hot cup of coffee, but it tasted cold to her. When she went to work to get a sample for a customer, I accidentally pressed a hot iron plate. Her co-workers were shocked, but she didn't feel any heat. Lucy had to go to the doctor. The doctor explained, it's because your body has gone into self-hypnosis. And the reason why Lucy was now afraid of the cold, because she hadn't recovered from the shock. She thinks she's still cold. That's why everything she touches feels cold. She's getting worse every day. And the doctor's advice is, she can only recover on her own. It's 40 degrees outside. Lucy's in bed in a duvet and a quilt and three sunsets around her. But she was still shivering. Sadly, Lucy went to the roof. She was about to jump. The fire siren sounded in the distance. The building was on fire. The woman shouted from the doorway, because her son was still in the room. Lucy quickly ran over, since she was going to die soon. I'd like to do a good deed before I die. She rushed straight into the room. She found the trapped child. A great fire broke out in the room. Lucy took the child into her arms. Lucy took the child into her arms. Then she carried the child out of the room. Outside, the duvet had been burned to a crisp. The woman fell to her knees and thanked Lucy. The handsome man had returned in the evening. At that moment, she suddenly found the meaning of life. Since she's not afraid of the heat, she should make good use of it. So Lucy joined the fire department. She officially became a firefighter. Her son and husband came to cheer her on. Whenever there's danger, he's the first to go.